Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all of you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome, come on in. I figured we would do what's being hidden from you today. Kind of see what it is you don't see coming. Let's see what's going on with the collective. I hope everybody's having a great week. Oh wow, what you don't see coming is a victory. Something's coming for you after an attachment, some sort of an attachment that you had with someone in the world. So it looks like right now, your biggest mission is your purpose and, and you stepping out into the world, into a new beginning. That's your biggest mission. Um, that's what's coming for you. What may be hidden is an attachment that's here. Um, magician in the mirror and deceit some type of someone from your past it feels like um, that's still attached to your energy some kind of way uh, this is somebody that you transformed on basically especially coming up as a magician in the mirror and deceit in the past you know it was you may have felt a victory with this person um, but goddess of the moon it's like in a sense you're still getting to your victory. You're still going to get there. This, whatever this is in the middle here, that's still holding on to you energetically. Um, it feels like this will pass. Angel of strength is here. Um, so you did have to call on your inner strength, your intuition, your inner goddess, especially with the goddess of the moon being here or your inner God. Like you had to just call on God almost to just kind of get yourself out of this. If some of you are still here in the present moment, know that this will pass. Okay. It's like the old folks say, this too shall pass. That shit is true. You have to allow time to heal this because this was a lot, but it will be you healing it for yourself because the magician in the mirror here, you're changing your life. So when you're having those dark moments, when you're thinking of these issues that may still have their attachments to you energetically, just hold on to the fact that you know better. Hold on to the fact that you'll invest better. Hold on to the fact that you won't do the same shit that caused you to be in this state again, okay? So you still will be going to your victories there. This has to do with your twin flame. Um, but if you want to meet new people, you need to go outside. <laughs> I'm being so honest with you. You need to go outside if you want to meet some new people. Um, door to personal healing and happiness is here it'll it'll help you you need it you you've been through so much you really need to take some time out and and go outside and learn new things um new things that you like you you know you may not be on some going to the club you know but find out um places to go just kind of it's something with communication with allowing people to invite you places and, and go you know show up things like that like it'll get you out of whatever funk this is right here and you will, you're going to run into some people here. Like you may run into somebody from your past, um, but it's, it's almost like pushing you out the door. Like go outside if you want to meet new people, especially with the number seven being here. Knowledge, you want to meet and learn new things. You have to go outside. Um, this is something somebody's thinking about this person that has a, an energetic attachment to you. You changed their life. Um, they may not have had a family life prior to you being around or a, not a family life, but a sense of stability, a stable life. Um, there's something about you taking that away through them coming up deceitful, especially with the seat being here. Like it's in your face, whatever they lied about or hid from you. Um, it's kind of coming back to them tenfold right now. That's what you, that's what's being hidden from you is this person is in a lot of confusion. Um, still trying to make their point, still trying to, I guess, be in their ego about how things ended between the two of you, but really it's kind of like you're just being arrogant. If you really look at the situation, you gave that person no choice but to leave. You know what I mean? Like they just don't want to admit their faults or their wrongs when it comes to this. Um, also too, their lies aren't working on people, especially with you coming up as a magician in a mirror. It's like, if she was that bad, why is she doing so good right now? Or if he was doing that bad, he seems to not be doing bad right now. Like it's whatever they were saying about you, it's not adding up in the present moment because you're really in this embarking on your own new journey energy here. Like you're, <laughs> you're so 
in the in the purpose that you're not really worried about this anymore because you've you've walked away from this but this person is damn near immersed in it um it's even like when you would do things for them i don't know something about like something domestic like either cook or it's just it's something about the way you do things in your household that made them realize they didn't have that much of a routine or something that's bringing up family it's bringing up home it's really feeling like their routine is completely broken and they can't figure out how to live life i don't it that's the best way i could describe that um the best way for them to get out of this is to go through it uh you may not want to hear that but right now this person um eventually they'll be fine they're they're extremely regretful right now in in the way that they behaved um but in a sense they're kind of shedding this too eventually they'll end up walking away from that mindset which is good because then they'll let go of your energy um but they are so trying to get towards you here you are strength nine of pentacles it's just everything that you're doing it's almost like you understand that this is your moment and if you're going to go for it you have to go for it now um, even times when you're extremely tired and you don't want to do it you still get up and you still do it um, there's something about being reckless in this moment you'll re you'll regret it for the rest of your life so i don't know if maybe that's one of the lessons that this person taught you was to stop wasting so much time stop wasting so much of your life that you can't get back so it's it's something about time and, and preserving it because knight of swords you you kind of feel like if i don't go towards whatever this is that's giving me strength i'll feel like i'll regret it it's just it's I don't know like you've that said that in the last video you're you've evolved like it's a it's seriously even your reading is coming out different you're not I don't feel like you're angry at this person anymore I feel like you've completely detached um in a sense of like just knowing who you are and knowing what you need um angel of strength being here you may have an ancestor that's with you as well making sure that you and your family is okay um keep giving you strength because here you are coming up as strength um could be a grandmother something about while you were healing this person was around you making sure or well, it could be a grandfather but whoever this is this person was around making sure that you are healing so that you can go to your victory it's it's all about this energy for you and so many people are rooting for you to win here um but this person was with you when you were crying the hardest they were with you um, almost trying to get those negative thoughts out of your mind, trying to make sure that you know that you're a winner, that you know that you can do anything you set your mind to. It's something about somebody trying to keep you in the right state of mind so that you don't fall into whatever this is. I, I don't know. You're protected, basically. You're very protected here. This person knows that they can't come back as well. They know. They know there is no building with you. They know there is the way that they did things in the past will always be the way the two of you will move forward, which is apart. There's no coming back. And they, uh, instead of them feeling, because um, I want to say regretful, but that's kind of not the word. It's almost like at times they feel regretful, but at times it's like, their arrogance shows so hard that they don't want to say they're sorry for what they did so it would inevitably make you walk away you wouldn't want to be around that energy anyway like this i don't know if they felt justified in the things that they did it's, it's something there like they feel justified in something so that's why it's going to take them that long to walk away from this mindset but they'll get to it they'll get to it i hope that didn't confuse you but this person is confusing so it's like one minute they are regretful and the next minute they're arrogant. So I can't gauge, you know what I mean? Like either way, you're not going towards it. That's the, that's the main message here. You won't be going towards it. It's something where you know that they don't see your love as a blessing. They don't see what you could give to them or bring 
uh, as an enhancement to the relationship as a blessing. This is, but they want you to plant seeds. It would be you using your resources to make this work and you're not willing to do that anymore. I see you putting those, the planting that in yourself. Like you're just really not for it. The Hierophant being here, what you want is a high level commitment. Um, and it's okay because at this point in your life, you are taking that time for yourself in the hermit mode. Knight of Wands in reverse. I can take that two ways. Um, but in a sense, I guess what it's really saying, you don't want a lustful situation. You know, you want a real situation. You don't want a situation that is hot and heavy in the beginning and then shit turn and the sh turns completely into shit. You don't want that. You just, you want someone that almost you can be still with that you don't have to wear a mask for. Knight of Wands in reverse. That's why I said I could take that two ways. Also, sometimes when you're in that mode of working and just working on yourself, um, your motivation can go down a little bit. So be careful with that. Nine of Wands in reverse because you just don't want to fight. I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> like you have a lot of responsibilities. So sometimes you are very tired. Um, but it's something about get up anyway. Maybe take some vitamins, take better care of yourself physically so that you can do all the things that you have set your mind to do. Um, because it's going to work. It's, it's fated to work with the wheel of fortune being here. You got to, you got this in the bag. You know, at this point, if you don't feel motivated towards your goals, sometimes then it, it is necessary to make sure that you're checking in with yourself, to make sure that you feel okay, to make sure that you're drinking water, to make sure that you're, are you eating fast food all week or are you cooking for yourself? You know what I mean? Like a lot of that plays a role in how motivated you are to, to do whatever it is that you're creating. Cause I feel like I'm talking to somebody that's creating something for themselves. Um, so just be mindful of that. Okay. Um, but it's, it's not, it's not good or bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just watch that so that you can do what it, what it, what it is that you want to do with your life. Um, this person, wow, they won't shut the hell up. Will they, um, seven of cups in reverse, four of wands in reverse. They feel like they have no choices in love. <laughs> now that you're gone no choices in love you're never coming back that's how they feel with the fool being here they want you to though uh but they who this person feels like they're trapped in in i guess living a lie about what happened um because your energy is so different than what it was when you first met. I don't know. It's just coming up like they feel like they're trapped in a lie. Oh, they're trapped in a lie with someone they don't want to be with. This person is always busy. I promise you. Um, Queen of Wands in reverse and the hang one. There would... So I guess to get over you, they got into somebody else kind of energy. And they don't want to be with that person. They feel trapped in a lie. <laughs> So I'm like, why is this, this is not you? Um, judgment being here. It's almost like that's your karma shit. <laughs> you like the lie, so now you trapped in a lie. Uh, this person really needs to change a lot of ways. The hang one being in reverse. Like, you're not even trying to change the perception of your life in no kind of way. Um, well, I guess this person is just happy, feeling sorry for themselves. That's really... No one's ever trapped in a situation they don't want. They're in this situation because they want to be there. Either this person is giving them something for them to keep going back to the situation. So let's be honest. Let's be adults about it. It's not like they're so trapped that they can't walk away. If they wanted to leave, they would leave. But clearly, they're getting something out of it. I just think this person is... is feeling trapped in being a karmic if you really want to know and there is no love coming out of the situations that they're trying to invest in this is they're with someone that's betrayed them as well can't even i mean they've betrayed this person this person's betrayed them they've broken up gotten back together this may have been the person that was in the midst when y'all were together they're going back and forth with that and they're not happy in it but they're just in it you you respect and value yourself way too much to do that it's just something about your energy being so clean over here and it's just being so all over the place um 
and and just choppy and non-cohesive it doesn't make any sense it's like why are you going back to someone you don't want to be with but you just you know this person can't be alone they'll even be with somebody that'll betray them they can't be alone nine of cups being here they can't it's something about being alone and that's where you come into play and they're watching you wow watching you hard because you are completely with this nine of pen, uh, nine of cups eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles you are working your ass off towards your goals you're going to make your goal this year honey yes you are you're going to make that goal oh it's no no ain't nobody that can say that you're not i'm you're going to make it <laughs> like for real you're you're putting so much hard work into yourself your self-growth self-love self-preservation everything that you're even what you're putting your money into right now everything is going to come back and do exactly what you want it to do so um they have no choice but to watch you to your victory wow i really feel like it's 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 so much it took you so much to get here but like you may not feel like it at times, but you're in a very, very good position, especially with your foundation. You'll be able to help others. Um, it's something about moving on from, why this chariot? Oh, moving on from somebody particular that could have been a fire sign, because that's how this person is coming up. Um, but. It, it's it's something about moving on from a flighty to balanced energy it was never really balanced for you um and now you're gaining your balance by pouring into yourself by by trying to figure out what your foundation will be what your legacy will be especially with the three being here with three of cups i don't know if it's 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 something about celebrating with like-minded people that understand what you're trying to do that will actually work. It's going to do what you think it's going to do. You have to believe in this. Um, with the moon being here, the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups, somebody from your past, um, it could be this person, but somebody from your past is going through a lot of burdens. Um, why the moon? The what's it feels like it's, it's the same person just kind of reiterating that they were their happiest when they were with you ace of swords being here like that is uh maybe their way of trying to have a clean slate i don't know Tr the truth is here ace of swords being here it's a new potential new opportunity but it's really for you it has nothing to do with them um you could be reconciling with somebody from your past though as well so it doesn't necessarily have to always be about this person. This could be a friend from your past, um, somebody from school, childhood, somebody that you knew when you was little. And you moving on is going to cause a lot of burdens to these people from the past. It's something about you moving on to true love and not wanting to give to this anymore um, with this three of wands and three of pentacles, sorry, in reverse, not wanting to give to that. But you have an ace of wands here like you have a hell of an opportunity in front of you and i don't know if this is work if this is your your job your um your business um it's something that is working and, and it at times you may not necessarily think that's what you should be doing but it is it is completely and totally what you should be doing um it's going to bring you everything you're asking for and it comes after a time of being really hurt after a time of being really just put in a, a really crazy situation let me see something i guess what really what you what you don't see or what's being hidden from you is a huge opportunity that you're going to embark on that you're actually going to go for um and there seems to be a, a couple of people wanting to reconcile with you um with this person specific my ego got in the way um but no one compares to you i judged you i think this person still judges you i care for you too much and pretending everything is fine but i wished for you unblock me you know it's it's just a lot there and this person is just still stuck in your energy and not wanting to leave 
It's just, they're there. They're going to fight it all the way. All the way. What else doesn't the collective see coming? This person had a lot of chances to make it right with you. It's just karma. It is what it is. It goes around. You can't have it both ways. Trapped in fear being here. Positive movement forward and passion ignited. When you, it, it's, and I completely understand. When you're tired, when you have so much going on, you have so many responsibilities, it's hard to invest in yourself. It's hard to say, you know what, I'm going to take an hour and I'm just going to devote it to my business or to whatever it is I'm trying to create and share with the world. But it's, it's, an, it's necessary. It's necessary um, because you can carve out that same time for that job, for that toxic relationship, for those family members that aren't really listening to what you're saying anyway, they just want to get their point across. You can cut out those hours for them. You can cut out an hour for yourself and work on this victorious uh, opportunity that's in front of you, okay? So just go for it. That's why I'm like, with this, the number eight being here, it's, it's, you're a master at your craft, whatever that is. So you have to believe in yourself more because when you do, you will get up and you will put more into this, um, it's going to require action for you to get to your accomplishment, okay? Because positive movement forward is here and your passion being ignited. You have positive movement forward with whatever your passion is. You have to go for that. Nobody can make you do it. You have to do that. Transformation being here, you're not who you used to be, okay? There's an old way of thinking, an old belief that is gone about yourself that you have to take a chance on when it comes to this. Go for it because it's going to give you your firm foundation with the number four being here. Completely structure, stability, everything you want is in you taking that chance on yourself and use your intuition. You know what I'm talking about. Use your intuition, uh, allow it to guide you and have patience with yourself. You know, you're not going to build it in a day. Okay. But at the same time, the energy that you have and the love and the drive that you have that you're capable of you can build this stability for yourself. And it's something, um, I feel like it's with your energy as well. It's, it's something about a peacefulness with you. Whatever you're offering, people want it. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not like you're the only one that's feeling whatever this is. Like you, you need to go for it. Ace of Wands being here is going to require your action to get to this accomplishment. But it's a huge potential and opportunity for you foundation and achievement right behind it <laughs> okay it's a huge opportunity accomplishment achievement for you to move in this direction okay i'm gonna leave it there look at that but you don't see coming material and spiritual prosperity at the bottom of the deck material and spiritual prosperity at the bottom of the deck you're reborn show the world who you are don't be afraid of it don't let anybody from your past hold you back they have their own assignment and you have yours you got to get into yours okay all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I truly, truly hope that resonated with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.